Howdy, howdy. Besides taking pictures, I'm sure many of you also take videos. And whether that's on your mobile phone or your super duper ultra fancy DLSR that's attached to a gimbal, I'm sure many of you would be pleased to find out that Zonar Photo Studio has its own video module. So let's dive in and take a look at what we can do there. Okay, so the video module, just like all of the other Zoner Photo Studio X modules, is found right up here in the top right part of the interface. Now a little refresher on the Zoner Photo Studio X interface. On the left-hand side, you'll find the navigator, and you can hide that easily by clicking on this arrow here, just to give yourself a little more editing space to play around with your video. Now you'll find source clips from the selected folders in the film strip below. On the right side, you'll find completed and in progress projects, or you can create a brand new project. Right now we're looking at the interface where you'll be editing your video. The main area is for previewing and working with your video. The timeline is right here, which I'll get back to in just one second. And as I already mentioned, the clips that are ready to be added can be found right here. Now on the right side of the panel, you will find uh, where you set various video properties or add effects. And adding video clips is super easy. Hover over your selected video clip and then just drag and drop it to the timeline. Now the clip is processed or preloaded, so you can work with the clip a lot faster without waiting for it to load. The timeline here is used to keep track of the clips that you're using for your video their sequence or how they transition from one to the other. Now here in the simplified version, you can see just one single timeline, but you can easily add more by just adding more clips. Or you can use this button here to add a video or audio track. Now to save some time, let's jump ahead and take a look at what it looks like when you have a project in progress and what you can use for your video and so forth. Here's what a finished video project might look like. And let's take a look at the options available to you in Zoner Photo Studio X. Firstly, you've definitely noticed that there are multiple video tracks and that we've also added an audio track here. You can use music in your video to separate clips and their transitions. I've also added a caption to this video so the text is projected over the video footage. Next, I'll add some background music. And this is an MP3 file, but you can also add other audio supported formats. These little green sections here that you can see between each clip on the timeline are what we call transitions. With transitions, you make sure your clips don't just go from one to the other, but receive some special type of effect. And in this case, I used fading. So as a result, the video might look like this or here in the beginning where it transitions from the title page to the first video. You can also add still images to your video, such as this photo. And to make it even more interesting, you can add an effect like panning to your image. And I'll play the video back just to show you. And notice how the picture subtly pans. All these options and effects can be found in the right side panel, which we'll take a closer look at in just a moment. But remember, we've already made several videos, written several articles about video editing, so you can find them linked below in this video. Now, in the right side panel, in addition to basic video settings, we can play with the resolution. The option to add captions, transitions, and adjust each clip's properties. In order to see these properties though, you'll have to have a video clip selected. There's video fading or audio fading, and if you keep scrolling down, things start to get just a little bit more interesting. You can choose from several effects or make changes to the video's appearance using a few simple adjustments. For example, you can brighten the image a bit, increase exposure, or desaturate an image entirely. And you can learn more about the options for video editing in other articles and videos. And now I'm going to show you something important, exporting your video. The project you see here in Zona Photo Studio X is linked to source files, in this case, MP4 and others. And to create your final video, you'll need to click that green export button. Okay, click the save button, but you still have to set some important video properties. 
choose the right codec, resolution, quality, and frames per second. But if you're unsure of what to do, just keep the default settings and click that export button. Zona Photo Studio X will start exporting the video, which could take some time. And once your video is exported, you can now open your finished video. So this is what the fifth module, the video module of Zoner Photo Studio X is all about. Of course, there's a lot more that can be done here, so feel free to explore and play around. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a video and we will see you next time. Take care.